We've got the tallest tower, the most leaning building, and the biggest indoor theme park. But now the UAE can add the world's second biggest combined desalination and power plant to the list of landmark projects. It might not sound as exciting as the first three, but the Fujera F2 plant will be vital to meet the growing needs of the UAE's power-hungry and water-thirsty population. The need for uh, water and for power in, in the UAE in general has been growing very, very fast. Um, quite apart from the increase in the population here, there's been a very, very big push into diversification into heavy industry, such as aluminium and, and steel, as well as petrochemicals, and all of that takes a lot of energy. VIPs from the Emirates and beyond flocked to Fujairah for Tuesday's plant inauguration. Fujairah's ruler, His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Mohammed Al Sharki, and Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nahyan, were there to cut the ribbon. Also present were scores of international investors in the 10 billion dirham project, which is claimed will power the economic expansion of the Northern Emirates. Well, it's an optimized, state-of-the-art power and water facility that produces 2,000 megawatts of power. 130 million imperial gallons a day of desalinated water will employ 110 people. There's an obvious effect on the local economy. Obviously the increased capacity in the region will enable, there's a lot of new construction going on in Fujairah, it will enable a lot of these new buildings to get interconnected and these new businesses to get started. But could this power and water plant actually be good for the environment as well as the economy? The desalination industry has been criticised by environmental groups for being energy intensive and pumping salty, chemical rich water back into the sea, which affects marine life. But with a research and monitoring facility on site, the Fujera Asia Power Company is committed to pumping water out that's as good or better as the water that comes in. Environmental technology and your ability to improve your methodology for pollution control increases just almost on a continuing basis with the better technology. We're, we're state-of-the-art, best available technology type of facility. We do continuous monitoring on all types of emissions. And the Nationals Energy Correspondent agrees that from an environmental perspective, bigger is better. I don't think this is a bad way to go at all. I, I think if you're going to do these projects, you should do them as efficiently as, as possible. That means doing them at scale, doing them with the most uh, modern technology possible, and that's exactly what they're doing here. Officials say this new plant will meet the electricity shortfall in Fujairah and Ras al Khaimah within six months. But with UAE energy consumption growing by 10 to 15 percent a year, expect more of these plants to be commissioned soon. Jerome Evans, Inside the National.